This is just a little experiment on what compact fluorescent lamps don't scream bloody murder when they're being run on inverter electricity. These ones are being run by way of that extension cord and another one from my battery bank in the main house. This one is a 2001 vintage Taiwan made uh, Astrum Sylvania lamp. This does exhibit buzzing. This is a uh, 2007 vintage Satco Bug Compact fluorescent Lamp, which is why it's yellow. It also exhibits buzzing. This is a Technical Consumer Products made Osram Sylvania branded uh, Bug Compact fluorescent Lamp. That exhibits buzzing. <laughs> this is a 30 watt Italian made Ashram, Ashram Sylvania fluorescent lamp. This also exhibits buzzing. This is a 1990 vintage American made Ashram compact fluorescent lamp. This is completely silent. This does not exhibit any kind of buzzing whatsoever, but then again, it's 1990s vintage and quality. This was actually ironically made in New York back when we actually had a manufacturing base. Very good lamp. Fortunately we have four of them. I want to get at least another case. This is a Technical Consumer Products Invasion branded compact fluorescent lamp. This exhibits minimal buzzing, which is a good sign. And this one over here is a Chinese uh, Osram Sylvania. Don't know which manufacturer actually made it because you can't be a foreign business in China without, be, without having a partner business. So nothing made in China by any big name is actually truly made by them. This one exhibits minimal buzzing. Of course also these are the only longest line. The reason this buzzing is a sign that there's a problem is because because the in, uh, inverter is only a modified square wave the very high rise time uh, from when it's at zero volts electrical potential to about 140 volts electrical potential is that there's a filter capacitor in the ballast which I've explained in a previous video there's a big current spike at that sudden rise time when that capacitor charges this is actually the same mechanism that makes compact fluorescent lamps a fire hazard on any kind of electronic switching anything that's other than a set of dry contacts although this the impedance of the inverter, which is the transformer in the DC-DC potential converter inside the inverter, the impedance of that and the resistance of the MOSFETs in the switching H-bridge and any filtering that's right before the receptacles on the inverter, the impedance of that helps limit the current, whereas you don't get that with mains electricity, so it might not be as much of a problem with these, but it's still something you want to look out for.